También en función de gala se estrenó en Los Cabos la cinta Remember del director canadiense Atom Egoyan. Después de la proyección de Remember, su director Atom Egoyan mantuvo una interesante charla con Alonso Aguilar Castillo, director del festival. This film is, uh, even though it deals with all the themes I'm interested in, in terms of uh, memory and trauma and uh, how we construct reality and how we pursue justice, I mean, all these themes are in my films, but usually in a much more complex way. I felt that after the uh, captive, I, I needed to do something really simple uh, and straightforward, and this was the perfect project. You are the only person who could still recognize the man who murdered our families. Do you remember what you said you would do when the Ruth died? How does it feel again to go back to this experience of uh, dialogue, right? Like uh, interpreting a text that is not yours. I have found it very interesting, given the, uh, the response to the film, that, that a lot of the critical uh, reaction is not actually looking at what an extraordinary script it is. You know, it's, a, it's we're, we're talking about the performance and the direction, but really, it starts with this amazing script that Ben August has written. I have planned everything for you. You must follow these steps precisely. His name is Otto Wallisch. You must find him. So this is, you know, the last story that we're telling about this huge crime in our culture is a story of rage. That usually you think about old men, that they've come to terms with it, that they are, uh, you know, you know, they've let time heal its wounds. But here we see that the wounds are very fresh. They're still raw. What's a Nazi? Nazi. Bad person. Overriding it all was this idea that we were telling the last story about the real people who were involved, and after this, we wouldn't be able to tell it in, the, in our time. It would be a period piece. So this carried with it a, a certain sense of urgency and even responsibility. What's that? I'm sorry. I... What's going on here? I will go. Sit down. You gotta answer some questions right now. <laughs> Cinema uh, offers this sense of recuperation, but it's also, uh, it's almost like a drug. It's not a viable or permanent uh, experience. And, and yet we look to cinema to provide some sort of uh, uh, um, stories that, that will help us direct our own lives. Your voice does not change. 